All right, this is how to get customized on 1.1.4. As you can see in the beginning of the video, I do is just adding a source. You need to add that one. It's repo.ispazio.net, and that's only needed if you get, if you have 1.1.4, and should be Ispazio's official. All right, then you're gonna add another source, and I'll have it right here on the computer, iPodTouch.net slash repo.xml iPod touched iPod touched dot net slash repo slash repo dot XML. Okay, I'm just gonna add it. It is it's adding. It should fix that error XNL to XML, and if it doesn't, then I'll just show you guys and do it later. So, if you have 1.1.4, what you're gonna do is go into iSpazio apps I'm pretty sure and you're gonna download the 1.1.4 compatibility patch and I'll show you how to do that in a second that'll downgrade you to 1.1.3 still with all your features of the 1.1.4 and 1.1.4 is just so you can't pretty much do this um, okay I've added both sources I think it should fix the XML okay there we go let's see if it did Yep, it did. All right, and should be under iPod Touched Source. Where is it? Oh, it did keep the XNL. Okay, well I'll just do it later. But you're gonna go to Install and go into iSpazio Apps and oops, it's under iSpazio, I'm sure. Whatever, I'm just gonna go into all theme all packages then. <laughs> it's not there. There it is. And it is for my Spazio. I don't know why it wasn't in the folder. It's 1.1.4 compatibility patch. You are now able to install 1.1.3 applications. So when you do put it in iTunes, it will show that it is 1.1.3. Now I'm done with that, and then I added the source wrong and I don't have time. I gotta go somewhere, so I'm just gonna hurry up and show you. It should be at the bottom, modded customize, M O D D E D space customize, and that's from iPod Touch Repo. Um, I added the source wrong, but you just download that and it should work. So, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, comment.